Well, what a city Berlin is. Second biggest city in Europe. History everywhere. Remnants of the old East Berlin, where the Tempodrome is, of course. Architecture is stunning. Art everywhere. And a city of indulgence. They even have karaoke bars and hostels, as the Eurosport crew found out last night. It's 2-2 between Graham Dutt and Sean Murphy in our first semi-final today. Now, the Formula E moves ever closer. Santiago will be telling you about it all week. It's finally happening tonight. 7 p.m. live in Eurosport 2 and the player. Jimmy White, Ronnie O'Sullivan and, and Neil Foltz here for the mid-session. Put this table to good use, of course. But, you know, it's interesting, Jimmy. We all sort of were saying it's very close. Three players that the boogies can't split. And then they have Graham Dart as the outsider. But he's came to play today. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he does know how to win, Graham Dot, and uh, to be three nil down to Hawkins, produced really good form, and um, he was four nil down to Chow. What's his name? Sorry, Kudong. Kudong. Yeah, he was four nil down to him. Said he didn't play really well, but won the match, so he'd be full of confidence. Yeah, absolutely. A nervy start though, which is yeah. to be expected for, for any players coming up for such a big match. Which didn't continue, you know. Um, the first frame was a bit edgy, I have to say, but yeah, we started off with. Um, Sean missing this one by hit it badly, you know, it's just not unlike Murphy, that shot, I think. Sean Murphy. Yeah. And then um, Graham Dot got himself in a terrible pickle. I mean, now he's finished over the top of the green when he was on that black, and that's why he missed it. Uh, in, it in the end, the black stay in there, he had the big pocket, you know, and that's got him going. And um, he went on to win the frame, but it was an edgy start. But after that, you know, I thought the standard was really high and it was a good start from Dot. He needed to get off to a good start on the match table. Yeah, he made a good point, didn't he, uh, in commentary. They just The guys were saying, like, for all the distractions, all yeah. of a sudden they can hear everything, can't they? Yeah. Every player. That was the ball. That was the one. That just gets you off to a settled start, you know, having played yeah. on, the, on the outside tables, ploughing alone, furrow out there, you know. <laughs> beleaguered Dotty. That's what he's like. That's yeah. how he lives. Yeah. <laughs> you always talk about... Funny enough, we had those, you running the rule over all the players, you know, uh, this week, and you were talking about Sean's, you know, prolific break building. And even when everything's not ticking, it, you know, it wins in frames. We see it time and time again. Frame two, you know, it just took the one mistake from Graham Dot and then came Sean and leveled things up. Yeah, he's always going to score well. Um, if that's on, you know, he's dangerous, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, these balls here for Sean are like a dream, you know. He's always going to take what's there and there's a nice little pack as well to um, open him a few balls up One. so you know um, dangerous you know in these positions you know very clinical mm. good cue ball control and um, you know bangs his blue in got it's, it good. here look didn't get the right kiss on the pink <laughs> but it doesn't matter Still a nice little 98 break to get himself on the scoreboard. Exactly, frame one. He actually played a kind of exhibition shot to try and pot the uh, pink, which you might do one in 100, but you can have as many chances as you want because we're going to recreate it the other side of the break. But frame three, Jimmy, this is a Jimmy White frame. Perfect for you. we got plants, we got flukes, we got everything in here. Yeah, he plays a plant here, sorted one out. He actually pots two balls and but doesn't finish on the colour. And then... Um, that's a real nice shot from Graham. You know, it was a shot for nothing, but it still had to be got. And yeah. uh, now he's on the green. And he, what a fluke he gets here. It's one of Steve Davis's favourites, this one. <laughs> like, don't miss a ball for about it's four minor, months. And then, like, the Dead stone. Well. Oh, oh, beautiful. I love that shot. How do you feel? <laughs> do you think he's, I mean, he's sorry when he put his hand up there. Yeah, yeah, genuine, yeah. He's disgusted with himself. Yeah. 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 It, 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 to win it the is, you have to apologise because it's cordial in its manners. Why? But, why uh, why apologise? No, it's not say, sorry. No, it's not genuine. Exactly. So why apologise? Yeah, it's fake, fake, fake apology. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, but you have to kind of do it. It's no, you etiquette. Don't. You don't. But inside you're like this. Come on. You don't. I mean, you know, I mean, I was always taught when I was about 10, I was playing some guy and he fluked, fluked the ball and he went, sorry. He went, I'm well, not really, though. So, so, <laughs> so, it's kind of true, you know? Honestly, I don't... I think it's more embarrassment. I think when you apologise, ah, you're, right. you're embarrassed that you've yeah, kind of yeah. like, it's a, it's a liberty, really. But, yeah. you know, it's part and parcel of the game. Flukes are great. Yeah, yeah, I think people apologise more on, like, little kisses they get when they play into the... and they don't play the shot and then they end up one one. John, they John Parrott was the best. You'd get, like, you're going to the pack, the balls would be perfect, you're sitting in the chair and he'd be shaking his head and you think, oh, he ain't on one, and he'd just get down and pot it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the worst one. <laughs> no, that's a rub down. That's a killer. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at three and four very yeah. quickly. Of course, this levelled it up. Yeah, I mean, look, you've got to accept the good and the bad here. Dotty was had a bad kick here. And you know, he probably feels the whole world's against him, but you know, you have to go back to that fluke and say that was an outrageous one. So it works that way, you know. That was that, that's why it threw off thick, 
Cost in the frame, then Murphy gets going, creams this one in. Nice. Plays some good shots in, in this break, you know. I think Murphy just he's showing signs of hitting form. His match last night was not good against Ryan Day, he admitted that, but he, don't, he doesn't need, take long to get queuing again. And uh, yeah, he did this really well. He, he played a, a couple of good little shots in there. I mean, I don't know whether he played in through that gap, but I suppose he was in an area, and this was frame ball. So, you know, good and bad luck from Dotti. And it, I think 2 2 is about fair, really, on, on the balance. Yeah, and the upshot of it all is we are where we started. They're deadlocked. Four more frames from one of them. We'll see them into the final of the German Masters. They will play to a finish when we return. And don't forget Mark Williams against Judd Trump this evening in the other semi-final. It's a great day of snooker ahead. A little bit of time for recreation when we come back. A bit of fun with Ronnie, Jimmy and Lee. Welcome back. Usually when we recreate shots in the mid-session, there's some form of education to it. Not this time, just a lot of fun. This was uh, the try and get the century, and uh, Murphy played it off the, the ball cushion. So how many times, Jimmy, trying this, would you make it? 1,000, 100? It, it just tried to play an exhibition shot. You could actually be there for a week, <laughs> you know, and... Uh, We've got 70 seconds. And if you was doing it on your own, people would come and lock you up. <laughs> you got two days to finish till tomorrow night, Jim. And, Go on, first time and I just, oh, no, even really close. You, you right, here we go. You Off you go. Okay. The wind and the rocket. Okay, okay sorry about that. This is just one of wind. those. Go on, go on. Oh. Jimmy's in <laughs> Right, Ronnie, you're up after this. Oh, go on. Oh, oh Jimmy, not bad, right. not bad. Right, you can put them back in, can't you, though? Jimmy might be right. Could be possible. <laughs> not to me, your head's gone. <laughs> Right. Oh, this would just be lovely. Nice and gentle. Ooh. I tell you what, I tell you. Oh, Ooh. it's not bad, though. What? Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? No. <laughs> Ridiculous shot. Uh, go ahead, Ronnie. One more go. Oh, okay. we got a wee bit of time, yeah. we got about 15 seconds. Give it, give it away, I love though. this, though. Give what about away. a bit of check, check side, just to sort of... Oh, he's checked it. Oh! Oh! Give me one more then, please. Uh, you know we'll be at this all fair for about 20 minutes, I'd imagine. I'll forget it. No, goes to show. Absolutely. Are you surprised he didn't double it? I, uh, yeah, he was just... I don't know. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, double yeah. was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah. We said before, of the two semi-finals, you know, Sean would be the one that was... Only, the only one was a clear favourite going into it. How are you feeling now? It's down to this home nations, <laughs> no break, best of seven scenario. Uh, I think it's a 50-50 game, to be honest with you. I think Mary's got two frames on the dot, uh, on the ball dot. Um, he's in a great position, you know. He'd have been remembering when he came into the semis cold and couldn't get used to the table, so he'll be feeling good about that. And, uh, you know, he's not scared of winning, so, you know, I think it's going to be tough for, for Sean to go over the line today. Yeah, it's a really good point. The 2-2 two -two yeah. and score, it looks all even, but actually what Dot was contending with coming mm. onto the main table, you feel a little bit better. I think Ronnie's right, you know, now we've got the Graham Dot that's become world champion, played at the Crucible in final three times. We know we've got a game in our hands because he dip goes missing for months, but he's back this week, so he's dangerous. Stand with Sean, Jimmy? I, I think it'd be close, but Thank I think um, he was a bit unlucky there to get the kick, Doc. We know he got the, yeah. the bit of luck before, but I think he's missed his opportunity, so I fancy Murphy to go away with it now. Philip and Joe to the end.